me the trial that you've been in. Now, if they blink and act real churchy, just rebuke them. But tell them to open up your mouth and tell me, what's the trial you've been in this week? Hurry up, tell them, ask them. I said, yeah. I said, tell me, what is the trial that you have endured? And I'm so glad that Peter is leading us into these encouragements. Do me one favor, lean over and tell your neighbor, say, hey neighbor, you're about to be blessed. You didn't do anything to deserve this blessing, but in the name of Jesus, because you did not die, God is about to bless you in the land of the living and he's got to bless me because I endured like my elder brother Jesus he was misunderstood and tried to be thrown off of a cliff and I want to prophesy to all of the mis understood people God's getting ready to do something in clarity that brings you back into confidence watch what your Bible said he says that Christ suffered for us which means he was bruised which means he was chastised which means he has stripes on his back and all of that suffering my friends is an example to you and I how we're gonna survive the trials that we're in one last time shake hands with your neighbor and say shake my hand you are shaking the hand of an overcomer you are shaking the hand of a powerful believer look your neighbor in the face and say shake my hand because you don't know who you're shaking you're shaking the hand of somebody that's about to be the head and not the tail you're shaking the hand of somebody that's about to be above and not beneath one more time shake my hand you're shaking the hand of somebody that God's about to pay off here's how I know after you suffered a while God will look at somebody and say God will what you gonna do with a man that's living under God will what you gonna do with a woman that's living under God will have fun your neighbor and say I suffered a while and God will he will restore he will confirm he will strengthen and he will establish what's my prophetic word he will restore he will confirm and he will establish but before he does I'm getting my strength back those words they got in your soul they made you scared but in the name of Jesus put on your breastplate the breastplate of righteousness that I can withstand all of the texts of the devil I didn't come to you tonight to preach a discipleship message I came to preach to you that God's about to restore you everybody that's been in warfare been in trauma been in drama been in fights struggling in your mind get ready the war is getting ready to end look at your neighbor and say do better do better do better do better do better do better I need you to do me a favor get out of your aisle real quick and go high five somebody that needs encouragement and say I saw you suffering but that's why God brought you to convocation he getting ready to after you watching a lot after you suffered a while after you've been in pain a while after you've been in anguish a while look at somebody and say we pay might endure for a night but joy 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 joy, joy. look at him and say joy joy that this world can't take
because this world didn't give. He makes my enemies be at peace with me when my ways please the Lord. Shake hands one last time and say, please the Lord, because it's almost peace time. I said, it's almost peace time. I said, it's almost peace time. That teenager's getting it together. That boss is getting it together. Whether you get the apology or not, I'll take peace over an apology. It's almost peace time. Everybody standing. I feel his oil. Hey, hey, man, the boho, son, and Mahani and Delaboho. Hey, you spirit of distraction, take your hands off God's people. Hey, you devil of revenge, come up out of the belly. Come on, up out of there. Grab hands with somebody.